So first we are going to start the extempore contest that is I am going to tell you a topic and you will tell your opinion on this topic. So Jagosini Bhattacharya you first tell your topic is every cloud has a silver lining. Have you understood this? Every cloud has a silver lining. There is a quote, there is a proverb. Every cloud has a silver lining. Should I tell the meaning? Every bad situation holds positivity of something good. So, start. Good evening everyone. I am Jagpushini Bhattacharji. Today my topic is about every cloud has... Um, sir, can you please repeat the topic again? Every cloud has a silver lining. If, today my topic is about every cloud has a silver lining. So, in our uh, daily life or in our routine, we can face uh, many kind of bad circumstances through the through the daily basis and uh, because of that and uh, because of that bad situation there will be a new starting because every bad situation starts a new day there is al also a saying that there is always a good day after a bad night so we should not rely upon those bad situation and we should uh, think about why that kind of situation is happening to us and we should learn from this situation so that it can help us and i have uh, learned in my life so many kind of learnings uh, from that kind of uh, bad situation i have learned uh, so many teachings and it made me proper uh, in every way and I became stronger and I had to handle uh, any kind of circumstances. So people should uh, think about the bad uh, circumstances and they should wait uh, for the uh, good uh, that will happen to their life. Okay, stop. Thank you. So now Raj Kundu. Your topic is pain is mightier than sword. It is very known topic, you know. I am telling you the meaning. Writing is more effective than violence. Yes, yes. So you start. Pain is mightier than sword. You start. Hi, I am Raj Kundu. I am a senior spoken student of FTH. So the topic is pain is mightier than sword, and this. Uh, statements is extremely true because we uh, we had seen in our history that our patriotic poets poets uh, poets were uh, poets wrote many patriotic poem many patriotic uh, story etc which uh, encouraged the uh, common people against uh, against the British rulers and also and also they uh, they became united by uh, reading this type of patriotic poems and patriotic stories so you should you uh, should not need a sword all time to beat someone you can you can write something uh, with your just a little pain and it uh, and it might be greater than the <coughs> effect of sword and uh, in our history we uh, we can see many of these type of examples and some uh, of our patriotic poets uh, are uh, Kazi Nozul Islam, Veer uh, uh, Damodar Savarkar and many of others and also our Rabindranath Tagore also uh, wrote many patriotic poems and stories against British rulers and that's all. Okay, thank you. So now Ankit Das, Ankit Das, your topic I am telling you, a person is not satisfied with his or her present position. That means what he is having, what he is at the present, he is not satisfied at all. So this is the topic. 
So you start. Hello, I am Ankit Dash, uh, and today's my topic is a person never satisfied uh, with his uh, position. In everyone's life, he with his present position, which is what he has reached presently. That position he is not satisfied. He wants more and more. more and okay. You uh, start. In the life of a man, he wants a lot of things, and the most important thing in his life is uh, his uh, good achievements and uh, his improvements. In our generation, everyone wants more and more. If uh, someone is getting uh, a certain amount of salary, he wants more and more to get more money, to be more happy. But in some cases, it is not true because uh, in a certain time uh, when uh, human think that uh, I have everything, but now I need some peace. Whenever uh, we get a lot of things and we have all the things, all the things of uh, luxury and uh, other kind of things, on that time, human think that uh, I am too much insecure and on that time he thinks about the peace. The person who has nothing and the person who has everything, both are too much tensed about themselves. So in this uh, running position, both think about their positions and uh, the middle man who have not more, who had, have not less. He thinks that I have to gain more and more. And that person is uh, compared with the middle class. And that person every time thinks that I need more and more and the low class uh, he also thinks that I need more and more and the person who has everything he thinks that I need more and more 